Hey folks, today I've got a quick tips video on something a lot of you have asked for. The ability to send a course from your phone to your Garmin while you're already navigating an existing course. So let's say you're out on a ride, you're doing your thing and you say, you know what, I gotta change things up. You create a new course on your phone or via Strava or whatever it may be and you wanna send it to your device. Now, up until now, if you were on an older Edge series, like an Edge 830 or 1030, you had to actually stop your ride entirely, save the ride off, and then you could go ahead and create a new ride and navigate that new course. But you couldn't physically send something to the device without stopping that particular activity. However, that's changed now with all this stuff over here. So with the 540, 840, 1040, and the Edge Explore 2, which uses that same interface, you can do that. So I'm gonna show you that right now live. So this is the ride I've already started. You can see I've got a course loader right there. And if I zoom back uh, over to the, uh, sorry, there we go, the timer, you can see it's at 13 minutes and 10 seconds. And I've got that timer cooking. Uh, now, just for fun, I wanna show you something. I'm gonna go to the homepage here and just hang out there. You can still see the timer's moving. So I've got the ride in progress, GPS, the whole bit. And now over here, I'm gonna go ahead and just create a random like 50K route. So just say automatic uh, distance, we'll call this 50K, there we go. Uh, I'm gonna choose my starting point there as Olympic Stadium. It'll go ahead and create a course just like it always does. It doesn't really matter again where I'm going or anything like that. So you can see there's a course and I tap done. <clears throat> now I will rename this course first. So I'm just gonna edit this real quick here and name it something just so you can see what's going on. And I'm gonna give it a quick name here of literally just titled Quickie. There we go, done. Okay, now that's the course name there. I'm gonna save that. And now I'm gonna send it to the device. And when I click send a device, I want you to watch how long this will take. Find my Edge 840 in the list, there we go. I tap this, and here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and you're looking for it right there, there we go. Eight seconds, and the quickie is now showing up over there. Uh, now, it's not rendering that little screen quite yet, but if I tap on it, it will go ahead and render it right away. There we go, and I can choose Ride, and now it'll ask me to navigate to the course, and that's it. I'm done. It literally takes eight seconds to send this here. And the same thing applies as well if you have Strava or Kamut or any other platform where you create that route. Uh, basically, once you create that route in Strava, Kamut, et cetera, and you favor that route or whatever it may be on whatever platform it is, it'll instantly send that to Garmin Connect, which instantly sends it onwards to your device. I find that whole like instant process though does take a couple extra seconds, but so let's try it. Here I just got Strava. I just do an auto generator route of 45 miles. There we go. We'll click save, make sure it's favorited, done. Tap save again, and let's see how long it takes. Okay, that's saved, click okay, and one, two, three, four, five, six. I'll just put it on the screen as to when exactly it shows up, how many seconds it takes. You can see the timer at the top right there. So 90 seconds later, I have this showing up on the home screen, but I'm curious if it's actually in the uh, navigation screens there. So courses, and then by uh, newest added, newest first, there we go, hasn't shown up there. So what you can do if it doesn't show up automatically is just simply force a sync. Uh, in this case, I can tap that there and force a sync, or I can always go into my courses menu and force it that way as well. So more training and planning, courses, that's the course that just came over. I can tap that now. Oh, it's already there. Like it's already beat me because of the, the sync. So again, like I said, it's not quite as fast when you let Strava push it over, but you can just nudge it along if you have to. And, and there you go. Either way, the point is like eight seconds is what it takes if you create a course here and therefore you just send any course over manually, you're done. As for whether or not we'll see this on the Edge 530, 830, 1030, et cetera, anything else devices, answer is probably not. One, Garmin seems to have drawn the line there on new features now that these things are out. Uh, and two, those are using substantially different architectures behind the scenes. Uh, so on the 530, 830, et cetera series, they have a dual Bluetooth connectivity sort of dumpster fire where they've got one uh, Bluetooth legacy connection concurrently with one Bluetooth smart connection. It's why your like syncing of your older Garmin devices on the edge side has always been really, really funky with your phone because there was two connections and they were just never very stable versus all these units use a single Bluetooth smart connection, just like Garmin's watches do, which tends to be very stable and it works really well. And that's been the case since the Edge 1040 came out last summer. And of course, as you probably guessed by now, this functionality isn't like new today. It's something that actually came out with the 1040 last summer alongside the Edge Explore 2 last summer and is now on the 540 and 840, except no one seems to realize it, which is why I'm making this video because I keep getting asked about it like pretty much every day. So. Now, the more you know. Anyways, if you found this useful or interesting, just simply whack that like button at the bottom there or hit subscribe or share it out or something like that so more people find out. There's plenty more sports technology stuff coming up in the next uh, very little while. Have a good one.